Hi, my name's Drew and welcome finally to another drone video. It's been quite a while, not only because I didn't get out, but also because I had quite some hassle with losing my luggage. I was in Scotland during the summer, wanted to use the drone there. Unfortunately, the airline lost my luggage. I received it back 28 days later, so it means I've got the drone as well again, and I'm back in Austria filming. So unfortunately, my first trip to film outside of Austria did not work. But we're here in Austria, we're in Tyrol, so we're in the very west of Austria, in Seefeld, and behind me is the Magic Castle. <laughs> that is what it's called. Now, my research didn't really show that this is an old castle. It seems to have been made and built just to be an event location, which I thought was quite amusing. It's definitely something very unusual. You'll see the images uh, in, a, in a bit, and you'll see that all <laughs> All of this is more or less just an event location. You can have parties here, you can even have concerts here. The inside has been decorated to have various areas like a beach party place and all sorts. You've got airsoft, arenas, various things. If you're looking for an event location in Austria that is very, very unusual but very cool, I'm sure this is okay. I'm the type, I rather like my, my castles. Classical, you know, so I'd, I appreciate a castle more. The inside looks like an actual medieval castle as well. But I get that this is interesting. Uh, and you can tell immediately that it's a party location. There are <laughs> wee, <laughs> uh, there are wee sheets of paper here on the door saying sex instead of drugs. So you can kind of guess what the atmosphere is like. <laughs> now, but honestly, it seems to be a great location to book for all sorts of fun things. I'll send the drone up now into the air to film the whole thing. Enjoy.
Now, I know there's not that much to see compared to other castles that we usually have. I did expect to see a bit more, unfortunately it didn't turn out so well, but still, like I say, it's very interesting. I think I'll uh, add just another wee tune on the bagpipe from home on my wee practice pipes, just to round off the video. So we'll make a wee time jump, space jump, <laughs> area relocation, and I'll see you there in just a minute. So here I am back at home, this is a practice pipe if you've never seen one. Typically you start with just this piece and the blowpipe, you know, it's like it's like a little flute that you play. And then this is a sort of bridge between that and the actual Highland bagpipe. So I'm playing this at home because, as you can imagine, my neighbours wouldn't be too happy with me if I got out the big Highland bagpipes to just play. Now I do have a method of playing them at home with a so-called bagpipe mute, which is a sort of bag you pull over the big chanter, but obviously that is not exactly a really interesting thing for you to watch, just me <laughs> having my hands in a bag, so I thought it'd be better with this. And maybe, you know, this is a nice instrument you can just play at home or to accompany other instruments, you know, without overpowering them, it's quite a nice thing. I will be playing uh, a tune that I have learned only just very recently, it's called The Sleeping Tune, it's by Gordon Duncan, uh, a very, very world famous Scottish piper who unfortunately passed away far too young uh, in his early 40s. He was, uh, well, quite the embodiment of modern piping, I'll call it. So if you think of uh, piping as just these very classical tunes, you know, that everyone knows, etc. You really should check out Gordon Duncan's stuff because it really gives you a fresh perspective on piping. Now, I hope this works first try. Like I say, I learned it just recently, but let's see how it goes. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed not just this little tune, some mistakes here and there, but still if you definitely want to see the full version with the pipes, I definitely recommend you searching on YouTube. Uh, you will definitely find them there. It's a great, very powerful song. Song, sorry, it's a tune, not a song. <laughs> no singing involved. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this or the very, very short but weird <laughs> drone video, then please you know, like, share and subscribe, it is the best way to support this channel. I'll continue doing bagpipe stuff, drone stuff, all of these things. Of course, the majority will be film reviews, etc. But still, we will return to this every now and then. I'll thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video on Flying Vina. Take care.